Aboard Flight 215, the tension was palpable. As a flight attendant firmly instructed an off-duty police officer, Detective Sam Jenkins, to leave the aircraft. The disagreement had started over a minor misunderstanding, but it quickly escalated, resulting in Sam being escorted off the plane amidst a crowd of confused passengers. Little did the flight attendant know this incident was far from over. As Sam stood on the tarmac watching the plane taxi away, a determined look crossed his face. This was not the end, but just the beginning of his calculated retaliation. Detective Sam knew that there was more to this situation. As he saw the plane take off into the sky, he started to think back to how this simple confrontation escalated completely out of control. But before we delve deeper, don't forget to smash the like button and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell so that you won't miss any new stories. All he had done was open his little table for his laptop and try to use the last little bit of Wi-Fi before takeoff. The plane was still standing still, so he thought it was okay. When the flight attendant first saw what he was doing, she did not mention anything about it. But when she passed by Sam, he saw her stop in her tracks. The flight attendant turned around and must have seen what he was looking at on his screen, something that was not meant for her eyes. Because only a couple of seconds passed before things really hit the fan. Out of seemingly nowhere, the flight attendant started to get really angry with him. He could not be doing this right now, and he knew better. Sam tried to apologize and put away the laptop, but that was apparently not good enough. The flight attendant said that it was too little, too late. A short war of words later, drawing the attention of a lot of passengers, Sam was ordered to leave the airplane at once. The flight attendant even threatened to bring in security. Sam hesitated, but he knew it would be a bad look for a detective of his caliber to be forcefully escorted off an airplane with multiple pairs of eyes and cell phones pointed in his direction. He knew he had to stay calm. He quickly picked up his items and started to leave the airplane, followed by the flight attendant. But before he got off the plane, he quickly turned around and snapped a picture of the woman. He wanted to make it very clear who was doing this to him and why, as he knew there was going to be revenge for this. Thinking back to the situation, Sam started to realize that the flight attendant could have seen his laptop screen as she passed by. Sam was actually working on a fairly complex case at the time. He was collecting information and evidence about the criminal practices of a nationwide network. These people were suspected of smuggling a lot of people into the country and then putting them to work in horrible conditions. When he opened his computer, he saw that he was actually looking at the profiles of some of the suspected ringleaders of this organization. Could it be that the flight attendant recognized one of these people and did not want Sam to make it to his location because of that? It seemed far-fetched, but not impossible. Sam had a long, hard think about what he was supposed to do next. He, of course, wanted to bring this woman in for questioning immediately. Sam figured that if he wanted to know more about the woman, he would have to find this out on his own. All he had was a picture of her in the airplane she worked on. Sam confidently approached the airline's customer service desk, his detective badge in hand. He explained his situation, showing the staff a photo of the woman and mentioning the specific flight she worked on. His authoritative yet persuasive tone convinced the hesitant staff to share her name, Nicole. Armed with this crucial piece of information, Sam felt a surge of progress in his quest for answers. Immediately after learning Nicole's name, Sam booked the earliest flight to her city, demonstrating his unwavering commitment to the investigation. Upon arrival, he rented a nondescript car, blending in with the locals. After gathering Nicole's address through online databases and local inquiries, he positioned his rental car strategically for optimal surveillance. From his vantage point, Sam kept a close eye on Nicole's house, blending seamlessly into the suburban landscape. With each passing hour, Sam meticulously noted the routines of the neighborhood, from dog walkers to late night joggers. This anticipation was not in vain. The moment Nicole's car turned into the driveway, Sam's readiness intensified. As Nicole's car lights pierced the evening's calm, Sam's vigilance was rewarded. He watched from a distance as she entered her home, the door closing softly behind her. Utilizing the cover of darkness, Sam moved closer to Nicole's house with practiced caution. He positioned himself near an ajar window, the perfect vantage point for eavesdropping. 
Despite the tantalizing bits of dialogue, Sam knew better than to rush. He continued recording, planning to dissect the conversation later for any hidden clues. Amidst the muffled conversations, Nicole's voice rose slightly, revealing a mention of an upcoming meeting. This piece of information was exactly what Sam needed, a tangible lead to follow. With the crucial information in hand, Sam prepared for the next phase of his investigation. Recognizing the potential risks involved in infiltrating such a place, Sam carefully entered the premises. After entering the building, Sam delved into public records on his phone, discovering that the building was owned by a shell company linked to the criminal underworld. Sam circled the building's perimeter, camera in hand, snapping photos of exits, windows, and any peculiar markings that might signify its significance to the criminal network. These photographs would later be meticulously analyzed for any clues they might hold, forming a visual log of his findings. Utilizing his expertise in covert operations, Sam slipped inside the building undetected. He moved with precision, minimizing his presence and aware of the sounds he made. Sam expertly placed a cutting edge wiretap in a secluded spot within the building, ensuring it was hidden from plain sight. After securing the wiretap, Sam exited the building as silently as he had entered, leaving no trace of his presence. He moved through the shadows, blending with the night, until he reached his car parked at a safe distance. With solid evidence in hand, Sam wasted no time in contacting the authorities. With the evidence handed over and the report sent, Sam prepared for the police's next move. He reviewed all the information he had gathered, ensuring nothing was overlooked. As the police descended upon the hideout, Sam watched from afar, his eyes locked on the unfolding operation. The element of surprise was evident, catching the culprits off guard and triggering a wave of panic. Nicole and her associates, now in handcuffs, were escorted into police vehicles, their fate sealed by the law. From his vantage point, Sam could see the suspects being taken away, their criminal endeavors halted by the collective efforts of dedicated law enforcement. As the operation wound down, Sam reflected on his crucial role in its success. His contribution, though unseen by many, was instrumental in bringing the culprits to justice. The evidence he had meticulously gathered and handed over to the authorities had paved the way for this moment, a testament to his dedication and skill. Feeling a quiet satisfaction, Sam acknowledged the significance of his efforts. The dismantling of the criminal network was a direct consequence of his relentless pursuit of justice. Sam took the stand, his voice steady as he recounted his investigation. The courtroom listened intently as he detailed his surveillance and the eventual capture of the evidence. As Sam's evidence was scrutinized, the undeniable truth of Nicole and her associates' guilt became apparent. The clarity and depth of his findings left no room for doubt, each piece of testament to the network's reach and their involvement. Sam's work, while bringing vindication, also opened doors to further inquiries. His findings laid the groundwork for broader investigations, hinting at the network's reach beyond the immediate suspects. The closure of this case was not an end but a beginning, a launch pad for delving deeper into the criminal underworld. Sam's investigation took a dramatic turn when he uncovered that Nicole, the flight attendant, was actually the daughter of a major player in the criminal network. This revelation added layers of complexity to the case as family ties intertwined with criminal activities. It explained some of Nicole's actions and hinted at deeper motivations behind her involvement. Nicole's deep-seated loyalty to her father became a central theme in the unfolding drama. Her efforts to shield him from the law's reach were meticulously documented by Sam, showcasing a tangled web of personal and criminal commitments. Delving deeper into Nicole's life, Sam pieced together the network of relationships that blurred the lines between family bonds and criminal alliances. In her bid to protect her father, Nicole inadvertently exposed weaknesses within the criminal network. Her actions, though intended to cover tracks, actually provided Sam and law enforcement with invaluable clues. Watching the case come to a close, Sam found himself in a whirlwind of emotions. The satisfaction of solving the case was tinged with a contemplative mood as he pondered the complex nature of justice. Seeing Nicole, a key figure in the investigation, grapple with her role, Sam reflected on the fine line between right and wrong and the personal costs entailed in pursuing justice. 
This twist of fate emphasized the serendipitous nature of justice, revealing how the truth can emerge from the most unexpected sources. The legacy of the investigation extended far beyond the immediate legal outcomes. It blurred the lines between personal vendettas and the collective pursuit of justice, leaving a lasting imprint on all involved. The case served as a reminder of the intricate balance between personal loyalty and the broader societal implications of one's actions, shaping the perspectives of both Sam and Nicole on justice and morality.